Welcome to Aunt Sammy's Kitchen. And today we're gonna have a hash brown casserole. I cooked the ham over here and it looks delicious. And I've got some baked beans in the oven. My recipe will be in the, another video for that. And I got this recipe. I love that hash brown casserole at Cracker Barrel. But this is a little different, I guess. So uh, you just take uh, a big bag of hash browns and I like I like to unthaw mine because it's easier to to uh, stir. And uh, you take one fourth cup of melted butter, and then we're going to take um, about a half a cup of chopped on onions, onions. Sometimes I grate them because my son don't like onions. And one can of cream chicken soup. Get a little in there. This is so good. We we usually have this at Christmas time. This casserole. And with the holidays coming up but usually if we got a ham we're gonna have this or something close to it either that or potato salad and we're gonna put a little bit of garlic I guess about a tablespoon and some pepper. Let's see this comes out a little bit faster. About a teaspoon of pepper and a little bit of salt because your cheese goes in it and it'll, it'll be salty. See the ingredients are one bag of frozen uh, hash brown potatoes thawed one fourth cup of margarine, one teaspoon of salt, one te half a teaspoon of white pepper. Whew, it's getting out of those. And one half a cup of finely chopped onion, one can of mushroom soup, and two cups of ch uh, cheddar cheese. Oof, excuse me. I'm gonna stir that. Get that all incorporated. I'm going to put it in a 13 by 9 pan, which I've sprayed with that cooking spray so it won't stick. Got that all greased up. And we're going to put two cups of cheddar cheese. It's one cup. Woo. I get a mess here. Good. We're gonna mix that together. This is so good. And it's so easy, you just stir it in one big bowl and put it in a 13 by 9 pan. And, and it don't take more than less than 10 minutes to mix this all up. Okay, I've sprayed my pan, 13 by 9. And I'm going to put it in my... Pan. And remember to unthaw your 
hash browns because it would be a lot easier to mix. And just smooth it out. Three hundred fifty degrees in your oven. And it's gonna take about forty five minutes. Yeah, forty five minutes, three fifty. I'm back with my uh, hash brown casserole, and I just take it. I've just taken it out of the oven, and it is beautiful, golden brown, and um, cheesy. You can see by I kept it in there for about 45 minutes, so it depends on your uh, oven. So I hope you try this. Uh, I'm not going to take a bite of it because it is steaming hot. And, uh, but I can tell you from experience, it's going to be good. And uh, you saw me have that cookbook in my hand. Uh, some of my recipes were published in a, a, you know, a church cookbook years ago. And uh, it's easy to, you know, get them. I don't have to dig through all my recipes, uh, papers. I just go to that cookbook. And uh, church cookbooks are the best that you can buy. It supports the church, plus uh, it's got good recipes in there. There's a lot of good cooks. Uh, so I hope you try this. I know you're going to love it. Uh, we have it regularly, especially when we have ham. And I got my ham over here uh, cooked, and I got my baked beans in the oven already cooked. And so uh, we're ready for dinner just about. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, try it. You're going to like it. Thank you. God bless.